spent my entire morning on Marco Polo with my sisters trying to deal with some more issues that are going on and my gosh. Gosh dang it, I think he is so cute. I feel so bad that he's falling apart. And it's interesting because everyone in our family is falling apart. Jared's hip, Joel's back, all of our mental statuses. <laughs> and much more so anyway it just feels like a whirlwind over here okay and what's funny is we were this is what we were saying we're like if anyone was to look at us from the outside they would have no idea like how distraught we all are and how just like not well any of us are doing and we are all doing the very best we can and we're trying to get headed out of town today, actually. And I said, do you want to just cancel? Do we want to just cancel the trip? And Joel's like, heck no, we're not canceling this. My dad's like, heck no, we're not canceling this. Right, so so we're still we're just waiting on the drip edge and the gable stuff. And that's two weeks out. <sighs> Soffit and fascia just got pushed back another two and a half weeks. Ab stuff what was making Joel like not be able to breathe, hunching him over, we were worried it was... We thought it was a disc. Yeah, um, but it's something completely separate. It's costo... Congitis? Congitis something. <laughs> he said it, it can onset and it creates an inflammation right here and in the upper back and it just surrounds you for days, it says it can follow injury sometimes, and then he says it can follow like a small virus, if you've had like a virus a, mm -hmm. or something, like if you've had a cold or something. So he's gonna give Joel something for that to calm down, like the inflammation to calm down. He did show us on Joel's back, so we knew Joel had a condition like spina bifida, occulta, occulta, and because of that, there's a spot where the nerves aren't getting through. And eventually, and we already knew this, that he would eventually have to have his back fused. But the doctor said because his abs... He says my lower back muscles are... Like so they're strong. Stout, they're strong. He's like your body height really plays a role because it's not as much pressure tipping on it. Mm -hmm. So it's good to be short for once. And then um, <laughs> he, he's, he really was impressed. He's like, if you stay healthy, this can really just be something you treat the rest of your life mm -hmm. rather than if I would have come in not as healthy and say 20 pounds overweight he's like this would be a, a mess you'd be a mess yeah right he's now. like you wouldn't be able to function gym membership plan for itself right now. <laughs> let's get those meds and hit the road no we got to go home and pack and meal prep meal prep let's do a little RV meal prep shall we every time we go on a road trip i like to write out what we're going to be eating for each day so today's wednesday this is going to be a really short trip we're going to eat out so we don't need to worry about that when we get there on thursday and for all of the other breakfasts that we do i like to bring something super simple sometimes we bring instant oatmeal cereal and milk on this trip, I just didn't, I'm trying not to bring as much processed stuff. And so for all of the breakfast this week, I like to keep it really simple, really small. And we just have, because the kids like to snack a lot. So I'm bringing yogurt and berries, like blueberries, strawberries, like all those kind of things for, and bananas for breakfast. Those are all things that are prep free. I don't need to prep, I just bring them and we have them. I will like rinse the berries and put them in bags if I feel like it, if I have time for it. So that's like breakfast. And then we're only going to be there a couple days so I'm getting enough sandwich stuff for both of the days. We're going to be doing just like sandwich stuff which is super easy. And then for dinners, burrito, ground beef and cheese. This is a must, a go to every time we go. I love taking these green tortillas because they're super low in calories and like I just really love these specific tortillas. And I cook the hamburger before I leave. So I'll cook the hamburger up with like ground beef, obviously. <laughs> With like ground beef, onion, seasoning, sometimes black beans, and we just stick that inside the tortilla with some cheese. It's like the best 
dinner and a snack for the kids or an extra lunch if they don't want a sandwich. For one of the breakfasts, I have pancakes and that can be swapped out if we don't feel like making pancakes. That can be a dinner, that can be a lunch. And then sandwiches again for lunch. And then for dinner, we're doing pulled pork tacos. And instead of doing pulled pork, I am going to do chicken. And that is something that I could easily make before we go. I don't have time, I don't have the energy, I don't have the mental capacity. So I'm just gonna bring my crock pot. I can just throw it in when I'm there with some teriyaki sauce. I forgot to get teriyaki sauce. Ma! <laughs> I, when I, go get I need teriyaki sauce. <laughs> Then you can see the whole next day is like leftovers. We're doing the same thing for breakfast. If there's any extra pancakes, we'll keep them. The kids can warm them up, have them. For lunch, we're having leftover um, ground beef burritos. And then for dinner, we're gonna kind of do like leftover meat. We'll use the leftover meat and layer them over um, chips cheese, which we already have for all of these things. So you can see it's super simple, super interchangeable, and then on Sunday we'll ha get on the road and if we need to grab anything we can grab something and then everything that I've needed I just have listed here and we always bring plenty of, plenty of fruit as like snacks and what I would have done a couple of years ago I would bring the licorice and I would bring the cookies and I would bring all the snacks I don't buy them I don't buy the snacks because I don't want the kids eating that. I don't want to be eating that. Like I just try really hard to like not bring all of the like candy. We bring plenty of bottled water because that's just like what we go through. We drink plenty and plenty and plenty of water. This is the kind of fun part. I like to go through and just get everything put away that I'm going to need. I think I only need one thing of milk. I think I'm only gonna bring one. Now that I have the fridge mostly stocked, I need to go in and cook my hamburger because I don't like cooking that when I'm away. I have all my food in the cupboards. While it's quiet, I wanted to show you what I do when I walk through the RV and before we get all of our stuff in here. Let me just say, this is the only floor plan that I have seen that I would personally buy. So when you first walk in, you have a kitchen like your kitchen is right here, there's plenty of counter space, which I like. I really love that there's an island right here. That's really fun, I like that. And as I was putting away the food, I had enough space in the pantry to put all of my things in here. Typically, there isn't a pantry because there's not room, and there's usually like a wall of cabinets up here. It makes it feel closed off when you're sitting here, and it's like you don't know what is what in each cupboard, so genuinely, I'm loving this kitchen layout. The TV is here, which that is great. And then in here is the bunkhouse, and it isn't too tiny. The kids are going to love this. Oh, and this opens out. Ooh, I think this opens out too to make the room bigger. So this whole wall will push this way, I believe. Yeah, it does. Oh, it does. So there's plenty of room. I think this, this folds out to a bed. Here's the bed, and then here's the bed. So there's four bunks in the bunkhouse, a TV, and then plenty of room in here to put all of the kids' like luggage and stuff so that the room stays nice and clean. The kids are gonna die. They're gonna love their own space in here. And then it can close off if we wanna sit out here and visit in the evening when the kids go to bed. This is so perfect. Then you come up the stairs, and right now none of the um, pop-outs are open, so this extends this way, and so there'll be more room in here. And one of the things I really love, here's where we put our wardrobe stuff, I love that the bathroom is open to the master bedroom. I love that. Or you can close it off, and you can everyone can enter it from this side. And I really love that. So let me show you what I go through and I do when I'm renting from other people. I hate stepping on other people's rugs. I do not enjoy that. So I'm going to take everything like that out. Like I would never use their pillows. I know they wash them in between, but like, no. So we're gonna take all these pillows and any other blankets. And then, you know, like all of these, I just don't like stepping on other people's rugs because I don't know, I just don't. It just doesn't appeal to me. So I'm going to stack all of these things in my garage. 
Like, I'm not gonna lay my head on these. Like, no, I don't know what other head has been on these. So I will stack all of these in my garage. When I come home and take all of my things out, I'll clean the RV and then I will put all of those things back. Oh, and I just noticed there's a fireplace. That's fun. We are really going to enjoy this. This is going to be wonderful. Lady, this is gonna be so great. Joe loves the outdoor kitchen. He really likes these. I do too. I care for the oven outside because it's always a weak little thing. Yeah. But I like having the fridge where the kids get in here for their drinks. Versus like in going in and out and in and out of the RV. Yeah. If I was to get one, I think I would really like this layout. <laughs> does the bunk, does the, oh, I know, believe me. I know. Hi, babies. Oh, I know. She, oh, my gosh. She saw that RV and was like, <laughs> oh, like. If I don't get in there now, they won't take me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because there's been times where we haven't taken her and it's made her really sad. She was like, I'm in here and I'm staying. And I'm, I think this one's a dog friendly one because they have like other dog stuff in there. Anyway, Joel's going to pack that out of fridge with some drinks. While the kids are at school, I'm going to get all of their sleeping bags. I think we have everything. Normally we spend a lot more time like thinking and packing, but we, ge we genuinely just like tossed a bunch of stuff in there and hopefully we have everything we need. What are you grabbing? My mask. Everyone is in the truck. Hey, Joel. Yeah. Oh, there's something I was gonna ask you. Oh, fire pit? I got it. Woo! Kids are starving. Mom needs a mask. Mom also needs a way to pay for a snack. Nice mask. I'll put that in the description. That's a good one. It's my favorite one. It's your favorite one? Okay, I'll link it. $45 later, are we ready to hit the road? It better be. We gotta go pick up Grammy and Grampy. Don't ask me why I said Grammy and Grampy. I've never called them that in my life. Let's go. No, I'm not because I haven't eaten yet today. Well, would you look what we have here? Look at that pretty rig. Okay. Oh, Grandpa's coming. You guys ready? Hi, Grandma. We, we've been ready since 1:30. Hey, same. <laughs> I've been I've been doing a Homer Simpson. <laughs> If you are ever in Roy, this is the best Chinese food, ABC Mandarin. That's pretty good. And directly across from ABC Mandarin is Be the twice. famous, oh, Burger Bar. Oh, there it goes. The best hamburger place. If you're ever in Roy, it, those two places you need to stop and eat. in and out five guys. Jeez, what other ones? Put them to shame. McDonald's. It just makes them look terrible. That consignment store back there. What? My mom gave me a set of, uh, well, okay, sorry. Beautiful floral. 1990 <laughs> floral. Floral couches. I mean, they were as floral as floral could be. My mom gave them to us, and I was like, yeah, I'm not keeping these. So I put them in the consignment store. We made 600 bucks on it. Deal. 600 bucks. Somebody wanted to go back to the 90s. They were in mint condition. Like, they, they were glorious. They were glorious. They were in perfect condition. quite a ways to get to where we are. Before I show you, I just have to say this is one of the prettiest places we've ever found to um, stay the night in our RV. I don't want to make everyone jealous. However, I do have my parents here. Their ride is really beautiful. We are in none other <laughs> than the Walmart parking lot. You heard it right, people. The Walmart parking lot. They allow it. Isn't it, she, isn't it beautiful? Our first night. <laughs> Here we are. There was a small mishap undoing the trailer. In the best interest of Joel and his patience, we decided we would get out, take the kids for a little walk, and we're gonna find some food. Across the road here is a Costa Vida, so I think that's what we're gonna do for dinner. James just got here. His rig is over here. There's some other random person here. My parents, us, and what's funny is we're looking at this semi over here, 
and James said, I saw, I've seen him. He was at the Grand Tetons when I was at the Grand Tetons. And then Joel said, yeah, he was in Oregon when we were in Oregon. So we want to go say hi to the guy and let him know that we've seen him all over the place. When we talked to him in the past, I guess apparently he used to live in California. He sold everything, bought this little getup. I mean, little, this gargantuous getup. And this is what, that's what he drives around. He's everywhere. We've seen him everywhere. Isn't that funny? 